Hi everybody, so we have an auto dealer sales numbers are shown in the table below. And for each month, the mean, median, and mode prices of the cars she sold. So you got around five. So we got to find for each month the mean, median, and mode prices of the cars she sold. So let's start with May here, right? So um, so for May, um, let's have a look at that. We've got to get the mean, the median, and the mode, okay? So let's start with the um, mean. So the mean is going to be, let's see. So, so in May, she sold uh, 22 cars. Um, um, price at 20000 and then 49 cars priced at 15,000, and then 25 cars priced at 12,500, okay? So what that looks like is you go, you know, 20,000 plus 20,000 plus 20,000 plus, and there's gonna be uh, 22 of those, and then you've got um, 15,000, 15 plus 15 plus 15, uh, so there's, um, 22 of these guys, and then it's going to be how many 15,000 cars? It's 49 of these guys, 49 of these priced cars, right? And then we have, uh, let's see, 25 priced at 12,500. So 12. Uh, point five. I'm going to do it in thousands, so I'm going to, going to say 12.5 you know, 12.5 thousand, 12.5 plus and so on. And there was 20, keep forgetting, uh, 25 of those, right? So instead of adding them all up and dividing by the total, and the total is going to be, by the way, 22 plus uh, 49 plus 25. So that's a total of uh, 96 cars when we add them up, right? So instead of just adding them all up and then dividing by uh, 96, we can say we've got 22 20,000 cars, 22 cars worth 20,000 plus 49 cars worth 15,000 plus 25 cars worth 12 and a half thousand. And that's the amount of money we get for the month, right? So 22 times 20 plus um, 49 times 15 plus uh, 25 times 12.5 is 1487.5. Uh, and this is in thousands, by the way. And divide that by 96 cars. Um, total, right? Because 47 plus 49, yeah, 96 cars total. So if I divide that by 96, I get um, divide 96. So I just hit divide and it says answer, divide by 96, press enter. I get 15.4947.9 uh, and so on. And I'm doing this in thousands, so it's actually 15,494, but I'm going to round it to the nearest dollar. And it says there, uh, round to the nearest dollar. So um, 15,495 is the mean for me. So I got the, the amount of money brought in from all the cars over the number of cars so the mean is this, and this is like the average, your, your typical average um, price of, of car, right, for this month. Um, so next is the median. Median is half of the cars are, are above that, half are below, and half are below that amount, right? So again, let's think about the median. So, so that's the mean, right? So we got the mean for May. Now let's think about the median. 
And the trick with median is half are priced above, half are priced below. And if we were to list them out, it would look like this. Uh, 12,500, um, 12,500, and so on. And there'll be uh, 25 of these 12,500s in a list. And then we would have um, 15,000, 15,000, uh, and then 15,000 and so on, and there would be 49 cars sold for 15,000, and then you would have your 20,000s over here, 20,000, uh, 20,000, and so on, right? And there would be 22 uh, cars sold for 20,000. So if you listed all of these 96 car sales for May in a row like that, you would find that the middle value is what? If the 96 numbers were listed in a row, which I'm not going to write them all out, but can you see what the middle number is going to be? Well, the middle number has got to be 15,000, right? That's the median for May, isn't it? Um, and now let's find the mode. So the mode is the most common... Uh, sales price for the cars. So what's the mode there? So for May, uh, most common was 15,000 because we sold 49 cars for $15,000, right? So the most common, the mode is um, Tarts, I keep forgetting. 15,000. Okay, so the mean is 15,495, the median um, 15,000, and the mode 15,000. So that's for May, right? And now let's go over what it would be for the other months. So for June, we'll start with the mean. And in June, we sold 25 cars for $20,000. We sold 24 cars for $15,000. We sold 49 cars for $12,500, right? So, so that means if I was to calculate the mean, I would have to, have to add up um, all of 25, $20,000 prices plus of cars plus 24 15 thousands plus 49 12,500 so um so if i was to write it out it'd be like uh 20,000 plus 20,000 plus 20,000 25 times plus and then um 15,000 plus 15,000 plus 15,000 um 24 times Right, and then it would be plus twelve thousand five hundred plus twelve thousand five hundred forty-nine times. Right, so all these numbers would be listed out, and the easier way is to just go twenty-five, and this time I'll put in twenty thousand twenty-five twenty thousands plus um, twenty-four cars worth fifteen thousand plus forty-nine cars worth. 12,500 and that would be the cost of the, the or the the revenue of all the cars brought in right or sold so it would be uh, 25 times 20,000 plus 24 times 15,000 plus 49 times uh, 12,500 and that would be um, uh, so we would get 1472500. Zero, zero. That would be the amount of money brought in from the cars in June. So that's almost one and a half million dollars. And divide that by the number of cars sold in June. And there was 25 cars plus 24. That's 49 plus 49. And if you add that up, that makes 98, right? So divide that by 98 cars. So divide by 98 and we get 15025.5 and that's the average uh, or the mean uh, price 
of a car sold in June, right? And I've got to round that to the nearest dollar, so that rounds to fifteen thousand twenty-six dollars, right? So that's our mean here. Uh, let's get the median next. So the median, remember that it's a number where half are of the sales are above this number and half of the sales are below. That's what median means. Half are above, half are below, or half are below and half are above. However, you, it's the middle number. The middle, so half of the, so if we listed the sales again, um, and I'm just going to go back to what I listed here. If I listed my sales for June, I would have um, 25 at $20,000, um, 24 at $15,000, and 49 at 12500 So if I listed all my sales, it would kind of it would come out in a string like this. And notice that what's the middle? If I listed all of the sales in a row, what would be the middle number, though? That's the trick. Can you figure that out? Because I've got 25, 20 thousands, 20 thousand, you know, 20 thousand, and so on. And then I've got 24, 15 thousand. So what's the middle number? 15 thousand. What's the middle number? Plus. And then I've got 49, 12,500. 12,500, right? So I've got 25 of these guys. Remember, and I've got 24 of these guys, 24 of them, and then I got 49 cars sold for this price, uh, 49. And by the way, I, I should have put the little num the smaller numbers over here, but oh well, you guys are, you guys can take it, right? So look, 25 plus 24 makes what? If you add these numbers together, what's 25 plus 24? 49. So you have 49 cars that are either 20 or 15,000. And then you have 49 cars that are 12,500 or uh, or that are 12,500. So what's the middle number? The middle number is right here. It's right to the left of the of the last 12,500. So if you zone in on that, you're going to find that you've got these 15,000s 15,000 and then you've got 12,500, 12,500, and so on, right? And these go on up here, and the 20,000s happen up here, and they go there. And your middle number is like your median is right, right here, right in between the 15,000 and the 12,500. So to get a median in between these, you add them and divide by 2. So you go 15,000 plus 12,500 and divide that by 2, right? And we get 13,750. So that's our uh, median for June, right? And what's our mode for June? Mode is the most common. So in June, what was the most common sales price? Well, in June, you'll see that mostly we sold these cars that cost 12500 right? So that's the um, mode, 12500 All right. So let's look at the next month, July. And by all means, press pause on the video and do July yourself and then just, just check the video. Okay, so pause, do it yourself and check. Okay, I hope you press pause. I'm going to do it really fast because we've gone over two of these already. But um, I've got 24 cars that sold for 20,000. And I got 24 cars that sold for um, 15,000. I hope you press pause and try it yourself because I'm just going to run through it now. And 49 cars that sold for 12,500, right? And this is what it looks like. And that. So for July, we should have uh, 24 
cars each bringing in twenty thousand dollars 24 cars each bringing in fifteen thousand and 49 cars each bringing in twelve thousand five hundred and if you add up the cars that's 97 cars total whoops not 94 97 cars total and so we get uh one million four hundred fifty thousand five hundred dollars brought in and 97 cars sold so you divide that and you get this number 14974.22 and if you round that to the nearest dollar it's 14974 right 14974 and so that's the mean for June right to do is the median so again press pause try it yourself and then check the video okay okay I hope you tried it I'm going to do it really quickly now so um, for the median, uh, we have uh, 49 cars at 12,500, 12,500, and there's 49 of these cars, and then 24 of each of the other two. So then we have uh, 15,000, 15,000, and then we have 20,000, 20,000, so there's... 24 fifteen thousand dollar cars and there's 24 twenty thousand dollar cars and so the median is the middle number middle number half of are going to be priced above and half are priced below now if you add 24 and 24 you get 48 that tells you there are 48 cars that are um, fifteen thousand or above so if you listed your numbers out you would get um, um 48 um basically at 12,500 you would get 48 of these prices listed out right and then you would get a 12,500 and then you would get 48 cars that are 15,000 or more right so 15, and then your 20,000 cars, there'd be 48 of these. And there'd be one car right here in the middle worth 12,500. Okay, so your middle number in this case is actually 12,500. Because you've got 48 cars priced below that and 48 cars priced above that. So your median is 12,500. Okay, so for July, what's the mode? The most common sales price in July was 12,500, right? Because we had 49 cars sold for 12,500 in July, right? 